What's up, guys? It's Yappy Booty on here with another video. And literally, this is the millionth time I've tried to record this video. Uh, so much stuff happening today. Every time I try to record this video, it's been one stinking stupid thing after another. Um, the, world, the universe is trying to stop me from getting content out to y'all, man. I don't know what. I don't know why. But every freaking time I turn around, it is... It, it's nuts. It's crazy, man. I don't know what's going on. But nevertheless, I'm going to get some content out for y'all. I'm going to do this. We going to get this video out one way or another. So damn all that. But yeah, man, in this video, uh, if I sound agitated, it's because I am. Because like literally that's like what I was talking about. Just like a lot of trying to stop you boy from being able to do what he does and do what he does. Not just for himself, but for y'all. I don't know why, but nevertheless, um, heck yeah, man. So we gonna, oh so yeah, we're gonna basically here. Uh, I'm bringing back uh, well, well actually, for, before that, let me go ahead and start with what is up, guys? He don't be booty with another video and with a review. And yes, we are bringing back reviews. But I'm doing it in a little bit of a different way, but not so different way, um, kind of, or whatever. But with this direction, what I really wanted to do, and the reason why I'm doing this in tier list form is because, for one thing, this band has way many, too, like, too many albums. Too many studio albums. Like, if they had just five, that'd be fine to dedicate a whole video to, or something like that. This, this band has four studio albums it has 14 albums and mind you this is just the studio albums not the compilations not the damn eps not the freaking greatest hits not the demos oh or uh, it's crazy it's out of control it's out of control how big this band's discography is i love the fact that they put out so much content but when it comes to youtubers trying to like cover their stuff like you know like this like for me it is it, it's a bitch to try to do that especially youtubers who actually care enough to really have more of an opinion about the band if you're someone who really just doesn't really care that much about the band you're just kind of you know you just kind of write their music off as this or that or whatever maybe it's easy but for me it's not that easy because i have a good bit of say i usually have a good bit to say though uh, being a very uh, passionate corn fan, I'm also a very opinionated corn fan. But with that, I'm still gonna try my best to keep this as brief as humanly possible because I do not want this video to be about an hour or like two hours or something like that. Because every other take that I have tried to do this on has almost winded up being that long, and it's insane to try to edit that out. But with all that being said, before we get into the first record, let's go ahead and explain these ratings. Uh, sick. Uh, yeah. So the sick rating, uh, basically is like it's dope, it's cool, one of the best, their best. Uh, that's just how I see it. Uh, the okay rating, pretty much almost self-explanatory a little bit, where it's mid, it's I, cool. But the thing about it is. I know that the term mid does have a negative connotation to it, but when it comes to my rankings, that ain't the case. Basically, okay is like good, but it's not, you know, crazy bad. You know, it's not crazy good, but it's not crazy bad. It's just good. You know, it's good how it is. And that's just what it is. And then trash is definitely explanatory. But now that we got all that out of the way, let's get into these records, bro. Let's go into the uh, albums. So obviously, uh corn the self in the, the self-titled album uh coming out in 1994 and stuff like that um this was a huge game changer not just for corn but the entire new metal really rock and metal in general because this was right at the same year that kurt cobain had died when nirvana as we knew it had died and when grunge almost pretty much as we knew it had died um, so coming, this coming right out of the ashes of that was huge in, it doesn't help. Uh, I'm mean, not, doesn't help, but in, it doesn't hurt that this record has no skip. I mean, still to this day, this album ages really well. 
So with that being said, it's going on a sick category, bruh. Um, and then next is their second studio album, uh, Life is Peachy. Life is Peachy. Uh, I mean, you know, the first record was very dark, you know, and very heavy, very doomy and all that stuff because Jonathan Davis was being tortured practically by uh, <laughs> Ross Robinson in that studio, man. He's, man, it, it, it was some wild stuff. But uh, Ross Robinson is still at the helm on this record, still almost somewhat torturing Jonathan, but not, <laughs> but not in like the same way. Because uh, with this record, you could actually tell that they're having a lot more fun on this record. It's very bouncy, very, you know, groove and all that stuff. They're getting wild, they're getting crazy, they're getting expletive, especially in that one song called K, bunch of expletives. Because if I said the actual word, it would literally get me like monetized. So not trying to have that happen uh, for this video or anything else. So yeah, but this was a wild and crazy record. One of my favorite records of all time uh, by them. Uh, really, just of any like genre or anybody. So definitely going and sick. Um, okay uh what you because so i'm gonna do these in order though even though they're not in order here i'm gonna do these in order so uh follow the leader third studio album really the album that blew them up No, it's crazy because usually with popular albums um especially with me when it comes to popular albums there's always this sense of like well this album's not really all that good for it to be as popular as it is you no, know, it's very overrated, all that type of stuff. But with this record, it's not the case. Because like the other two records, there really ain't no skips on this. I know people hate All in the Family and all that, but yeah, it's still a pretty good record, at least. So it's going in sick. Uh, then next is Issue. Um, this would, honestly, where Jonathan Davis was at his best as a vocalist. This is where he really, truly started to come into his own and this was corn once again being in that limelight uh and surprisingly being able to cut, put out a good record despite literally having to follow up follow the leader which is not an easy feat but yeah they managed to do that with this record and it you know and it came out great so yeah definitely goes in the sick category also um though what doesn't go in the sick category honestly is untouchable uh this record right here was very underwhelming uh a little bit and it was a turbulent time for the band as well because the turb you know because 2000s very tough time for not just corn but for new metal in general new metal was really starting to fade out things oh so, you know metalcore was almost kind of you know developing uh into being a thing as well so a lot of people were looking for something either heavier or a little bit chaotic. So they really weren't feeling, um, you know, like Corn's usual style because it's admittedly started to get kind of old as time it kind of, and kind of like you know, really passed on and stuff like that. So it obviously makes sense why the uh, album sales were really kind of uh, low as well, like because with all that and then the members also not getting along and not being able to work well together, obviously that's gonna make for a not so good album and unfortunately um it is a not so good album but I, it is a little bit of a not so say it's a not so good album but at the same time there are some standouts um on this record i still do find myself liking this record a lot at the same time as well so while it is a very underwhelming record i can't really go as far as saying it's terrible like i feel like that would be an ultimate like i i, I feel like that just wouldn't be fair but um, honestly, uh, something that people do say is terrible, though, that I don't personally agree. With. But take a look in the mirror. I like this record. This was clearly the band trying to go back to the heaviness of the first record. But, you know, not really capturing exactly what truly made that first record so great. But nevertheless, still being able to put out a really good record. Um, and on top of that, uh, yeah, straight up man had some really uh had a great feature from nas on here all that type of good stuff and it was a really cool record and 
it was at it was the band basically at their literal heaviness you know uh even though again turbulent time for the band wasn't really getting along new metal kind of phasing out all that good stuff and unfortunately this would be the literal last record where we would get the literal like this would be the last record of the of the actual fab five so the original five members of the group we wouldn't get that again after this record and i think that stinks hopefully one day uh now the opposite will be the case but for now yeah this has pretty much been the last record where we saw the original five um that unfortunately also puts a little bit of a stain on this record as well for me so i'm gonna put it on okay um and then next next is um you on the other side i gotta be real Aside from like maybe songs on this, I didn't like this record at all. It was way too. It sounded way like it sounded like the band was trying to go bubblegum pop. And it didn't help that you had the literal Matrix who was like working with people like Avril Lavigne, Shakira, all that type of stuff. It didn't help that you had those guys at the helm either. Also kind of handling production and all that kind of stuff as well. Uh, though it had some cool gothic industrial kind of elements to it, like with again some of the standouts that I like, like liar scene and all and all that. But again, even that wasn't enough to really save this record for just being very like not sounding like corn whatsoever. And I know the most famous corn songs ever are like coming undone in twisted transistor, but I don't even like those two songs, man honestly it's like it those two are some of like it basically people talked about like take a look in a mirror being like a bad parody of corn this almost seems like corn were like not doing a parody those but they were trying to do like a bad parody like other pop art it was just weird nevertheless it's on trash uh so definitely going in trash category for me um and then next was untitled untitled while i like a couple songs on this record this was the band again deviating away from that corn sound which makes sense because you didn't have uh brian there anymore and then apparently then even on this record david was no longer there so he had left around the time this record had happened um i don't know if he actually did any drums on it yet. i don't it i think he left before this album could be made so that's two of the original five that you no longer have. Thus, Corn having to take a whole new direction, fill in the gap. And unfortunately, it didn't come out so good. Uh, despite the fact that I do like a few songs on this album, still not very good, in my opinion. But uh, nevertheless, um, the band would try to return to form um in corn three remember who you are but unfortunately it didn't really capture that considering once again don't have the original five because people think that corn is just jonathan davis or corn is just like the guitar of like brian and monkey a light head and monkey but or just a bass slap of fieldy so much more than that. It, it's literally corn have that wu-tang clan kind of complex to where every member brings something special to the group so it's like without david you can't truly have corn without fieldy you can't truly have corn without john you can't truly have corn without monkey without head you can't truly have corn it just can't in my opinion it just can't it just doesn't work not to say they won't still put out good music they'll put out good music but it just won't true i think that's what they were truly missing on this record and i think that's what honestly kind of made this record a bit of a dud but uh nevertheless i but yeah i mean yeah, that's unfortunately what made this dud. i'm gonna be real with you but uh, yeah definitely um then next speaking of duds this was the least corn sounding record ever like the literal least corn sounding record ever this was nothing more than just a glorified Jonathan Davis side project. I was not feeling this at all. The only corn thing about this record was Jonathan Davis. That was it. 
other than that, you couldn't tell me there being a so ounce of corn really on this record, despite the fact that yes, I know Fieldy and Monk, uh, Monkey are credited on this record along with Jonathan. But other than that, I literally don't hear a single aspect of corn on this record at all. And with Jonathan saying that they didn't make a dubstep album, this was a corn album, is will always remain one of the biggest insults personally as a corn fan ever so that in itself along with this record being not and not a corn record at all definitely has to go in the trash for me um but luckily right after that corn would actually get some sense and kind of you know uh like basically return to form a little bit and re reconcile and reconcile with brian and all that uh, which made for a very beautiful moment at that one live performance. Uh, though the record is very, let's be honest, very meh. I think it's more everything happening surrounding it. You know, with Brian coming back and everything like that, that made this record great for me. It's more everything surrounding it than the actual album. Uh, but yeah. And also, yeah, I'm, I, I know I'm missing a lot by saying where the records like made. I, I'm just, I'm trying to get through this as fast as possible. But if you want to know, you look it up. Uh, I mean, because I mean, I guess I could, yeah, like like it. It, it just seems kind of ridiculous to try to really go back and like hear some stuff. Because I know when these records were made, I remember being alive and listening to these um even though i didn't really get into corn until like around 96 or, you know and stuff like that so i didn't get into them for the very start obviously being born in 93 how the hell was i gonna but anyway <laughs> even still but uh nevertheless man uh the next one is trinity is suffering now you want to talk about a little bit of a return to form for corn this was a true return to form for Cool. The last record uh, felt like Jonathan Davis still couldn't let go of that electro bug that he kind of had and stuff like that. That really, but kind of like, so honestly, that for me really kind of what that, like, not, uh, like, made me kind of really not feel uh that as much though i loved everything surrounding it but nevertheless um definitely this record serenity of suffering sound it basically sounded a bit like issue and take a look in a mirror kind of combined which is something i really like right there i i, I like that they combine both those aspects to that um to make that record maybe that's not necessarily what they were going for my ears and sonically that's exactly the impression i got uh which makes this um honestly a pretty decent record um if i'm gonna be real i almost want to put it at their best but it's not necessarily that but it is one of their best modern albums so you know what i'll put it in um but in terms of like well but yeah never mind let's just move on to the next one so the next one is the nothing. This was a very somber record with everything happening around Jonathan, losing his wife, losing his mother. Um it was it, it was a troubling time for the guy, man. That that dude, well, dude broke down so much on this album, but yet somehow still at the strength to make it. And it really does show the literal uh the fortitude that Jonathan Davis has to be able to just you know bounce back from all that and put out his sorrow and put out his pain on that record for people to listen to and identify with and all that stuff actually pretty that that that's amazing that truly is an amazing thing uh but nevertheless while this is like a somber record while i do understand everything going on around it it to me is a fairly also average record despite all that but that doesn't mean that it's bad. It just means that it's not all the way great. And that's not what it's meant to be. It just meant Jonathan's almost kind of therapy session. In a way. So that makes sense as to why. 
like that. Uh, but as for Requiem, the last um, uh, album on this list, at least for now, until we make a new record, um, this is a bit underwhelming for me. The only song, I'm going to be real, I actually liked really out of this, truly really was the worst it's on its way. And that was the most corn sounding kind of thing on this whole album. But I don't know if I want to say it's terrible, though. That's, that's the problem. Um, because this is corn still trying to be corn. So I'll give it that respect on that. But other than that, it's okay. So, but nevertheless, that was my list of all the corn discography and stuff like that and my personal thoughts trying to get that make this as short of a video as humanly possible try to make it as under an hour under two hours as much as humanly possible so uh with that being said man let me know what you guys thought of this video let me know what you guys think of corn man have you corn at any point in your life are you corn fan not like corn let me know in the comment section down below and you know we could all discuss that together as long as you're willing to be adults and not willing to violate the rules of the tw booty hunter comment section and that is all you like but the minute it becomes a problem you're either a crybaby an asshole or a psychopath when you break the rules of cap that's when your ass has uh, basic well yeah basically um, like well, that that I can't I can't come up with a clever line. But when you break the rules of that, you out. <laughs> that's what it is, man. Th it's like you out. That that's basically it. Not even a three strike rule. You out because I don't tolerate no buffoonery in my comment section. I I don't I don't tolerate that. People can like what they like. They cannot like what they like, and you know. Shouldn't have to worry about somebody trying to come in and say that they're this or that for not liking it or whatever, because everybody's entitled to their own opinion, man. You can disagree with it, but the minute you try to like diminish that person uh, because of what they like, nah, that's where I have a problem with that. Especially when you try to do it to me, then I don't have a problem with it, but I will get your butt up out of there. So just know that in advance, you're trying to come into the comment section. With some bs but nevertheless if you like this video feel free to like comment share subscribe if you so choose to and maybe just maybe for just a dollar a month become a booty hunter vip member yes that's right a booty hunter vip member um get access to perks such as custom emojis with the face of people such as crackhead tony khan um he honestly the most awful wwe champion in three right now because let's be honest the guy's just absolute but for some of you corn fans some of you rock you probably don't know what i'm talking about so so basically you know you could tune out you could click off the video whatever but just to kind of give you context uh he's the current wwe champion and is floundering under that position uh and he is honestly one of the worst wwe champions we've had in memory in one of the most boring, I'll tell you that. Uh, that's at least until, you know, Gunther wins the belt, but that's a whole nother thing. Um, nevertheless, uh, Crybaby Cucky Rhodes. So you got Crackhead Tony Khan, Crybaby Cucky Rhodes, biggest, most incompetent, and dumbest son of a bitch in all of professional wrestling. Nose Man, a.k.a. Papa H, a.k.a. Triple H, um, as well as emojis of yours truly. And with all that, oh, oh yeah, of course, I forgot. But I was, I got way too ahead of myself there. But uh, also, next, get well, get ex early access to videos on the channel, um, minutes, hours, days, weeks, sometimes even months in advance before they're officially released. Though with this one, you're not gonna get that because I spent all day trying to record this and get this done so once i'm done with this i'm going to upload it to youtube immediately and just put it out to the public so there it is but nevertheless um oh yeah with the custom emojis for booty hunter vip members you can use those emojis in the comment sections um and you can use them in the discord which i'm going to talk about in a minute 
um, and you can in future live streams that we're going to wind up doing one day uh, once I can finally, you know, move out that this per, uh, current place that I'm at right now, which thankfully not too far from now. Um, and nevertheless, uh, oh, yeah, uh, Discord, but no. Oh, uh, yeah, Discord, man. So, yeah, Discord, uh, go ahead and talk about Go ahead and talk about that. You all can join the Discord without being Booty Hunter VIP members. Um, as long as you're not a creep, you can join the Discord just by going in the comment section down below. And we talk about a variety of things, such as music, video games, yes, wrestling, um, like, like a whole bunch of stuff. Only thing really don't talk about there is politics. I guess you could talk about politics, but I don't really have a section for that because. I don't really talk about politics, and frankly, I'm not a political guy. Um, well, that Trump thing was crazy, though, huh? <laughs> I'm not going to talk about that too much in this video because that's not what this video is about. But uh, nevertheless, uh, I don't mean to laugh about it because that was some messed up stuff. But um, and and uh, what you call it? But uh, what you uh, but what you call it? Uh, what else? Oh yeah. Of course, shout outs. That's right. Shout outs to say the, uh, you know, last but not least. Uh, yeah, get shout outs at the end of the video for being a Booty Hunter VIP member, just like these awesome people here. People such as Xavierus, Tiffany Stratton Fan, The Gothic Fighter, Marquise Mar Mar Taylor, Marcus Wright, and of course, who could ever forget? Oh, uh, Jay. That's right, man. Shouts out to the Booty Hunter VIP members, man, as well as shouts out to the rest of y'all who just um, support the channel in the way that y'all do uh, straight up uh, by just liking, commenting, sharing, subscribing, and all that good YouTube stuff, man. Um, and yeah, one last thing I got to say before finally, finally get out of here uh, because I've been trying to record this video forever, and that is... If you're already subscribed, then make sure you click the notification bell that's right next to the subscribe button to get notified of videos made by your made by moi, uh, as well as all notifications. One and one video from yours true. And with all that being said, this has been your boy, TW Pootie Hunter, giving you guys another banger. Hopefully, finally being able to get this video out to y'all. <laughs> and I will see you guys next time. Oh, Jesus Christ, it's hot. <laughs> Thank you for being an ass and not watching the whole video. You didn't listen to a single damn thing I said. Thank you for being an ass. Only hearing what you wanted to And getting butt hurt Like the sensitive little bitch you are Thank you for being an ass